Hello everybody, this is Kirsten from Fluent Language and today I have decided to come up to my lovely sort of new little studio which I'm very proud of. Um, it's just the attic of my house really, but you know, never mind. Um, so I'm here in my studio um, and I want to share with you a little video blog because so much has been going on on the website, um, in life, just in the way things normally are. Um, I thought I'll just give you an update in a little video, why ever not? So this is a, a vlog, if that's what you want to call it. Um, there's the most important new thing that's happened is really that I have finally, finally attended a Russian class. Um, I'm very pleased to let you know that I am on top of being a German teacher and English teacher, which is something I do all the time, I am I have actually rejoined the language learners, um, and it's so much fun. I'm so glad I'm finally doing it again. Actually, so really, really enjoying myself in Russian. Um, just to show you what I have been doing, this is I've got this book called I really love it, called Russian in Ten Minutes a Day. It is by Christina Kershul. Kershul. Um, and Christine Kershaw has written a lot of these books um, available in Arabic, Chinese, Hebrew, um, more mainstream languages like German, French, Japanese, Spanish as well um, and then there's also the Russian version. Now um, I first spotted this book in my local bookshop but then found out that the distributor in the UK is actually in my town in Lancaster and there isn't much in Lancaster so that's really cool um, which is why you can get them from the online store at fluentlanguage.co.uk because basically um, these can be quite tough to get hold of in normal bookstores so I decided to just make it a little bit easier for people um, and I will if you order them from me I will go across town and get one for you <laughs> essentially and then post it out to you um, I've been using this book for about a year. Um, it's a reasonably decent explanation of grammar. Um, I like the way it's very very friendly so it will write to you in a mixture of Russian and English. Um, it also comes with pre-printed flashcards. If you're a flashcardy kind of person it's got a little menu for Russian um, and also there are stickers, so you'll see the list, a few of these I've already stuck up around the house. Uh, and just generally I find them really useful, I love sticking things up around the house, as you know. Um, so just to demonstrate what I've actually already learned in Russian, um, here's my little notebook from my Russian class. Because I am very handwritey, I'm not really a uh, um, take notes on the iPad kind of person. And today I will share with you what I can say, or a few things I can say. Здравствуйте, меня зовут Керстин, я из Германии, я дома и на работе. Очень приятно. Я не голодная, я не голодная. I am not hungry because I have eaten a beard, which is lunch. I actually had some cake. I don't know how to say cake in Russian. <laughs> it's not very healthy either. Um, and also what we have learned is how to say whether things are yours and whether things are mine. So now I know how to say ita moya kniga. That's the second thing I wanted to update you on. This is my book, um, which some of you may have already come across and read on your various different Kindle machines and the PDF versions, which you can have on your iPad, or there's an EPUB that you can get as well for Nooks and various other fancy machines. Um, but now, Fluency Made Achievable, my little language learning book, is actually ready as a print version, which you can get off Amazon. Um, it's a full colour print because I wanted to share with you the beautiful little pictures let's find one of our contributors. The book features interviews if the book features um, interviews with language learning experts. So there's people like Lucia 
Bushtasik, I don't know how to say your name, Lucy. <laughs> Lucy, um, a fellow language tutor from Poland who actually speaks three languages herself, so she shared a few, of, a bit of her story. There's Mickey Mangan from Chicago. There is David Mansurey from London, who uh, also speaks a fair amount of languages. And we have a little self-assessment exercise that you can take in here, because the book is all about your core language skills, which is what I call. And what not just me <laughs> but um, which is what language teachers call speaking reading listening and writing so these four skills are essentially what has to be in balance and has to come together in order for you to achieve fluency hence fluency made achievable the book also features a study template which you can download and you can fill in um, and it's meant to help you, direct you through a three-week program, which you can use to focus on the skills that you're a little bit weaker in um, and still practice all your skills in balance so that it really, will, it really, really focuses you if you are a self-directed learner, if you like that kind of thing. Um, I must admit, I do really enjoy being back in a group. I really love having a teacher. Um, and I really love being back in a language learning environment where I'm with other learners, even if at the moment all we can say to each other is um, And so on. It's just the, the fun of practicing with each other. I really, really enjoy. Um, and I don't really care what the native language is of other learners. I like having the experience together. Um, which is because I'm a very extroverted person and just generally a very extroverted learner. But if you are a self-directed learner or if you just like approaching your study at home in various different ways, um, then these will be two re resources I'd really, really recommend, which are uh, Fluency Made Achievable. I recommend because I've written it. Um, and uh, whichever your language is in 10 minutes a day. Um, and I find I'm I'm not the world's most dedicated person because I am busy um, I found that 10 minutes a day is actually a realistic commitment for every single day uh, and I used to just set myself an alarm and follow on in the book and review section and so on and so forth and I got through pretty much the whole book and I'm very positively surprised joining a language class in which everybody else has already done eight weeks worth of study um, how well it's actually prepared me and how good my basics are in Russian, which comes from a combination of knowing a lot of languages, so I understand how language works, um, but also having taught myself entirely without a teacher um, the this, this script, the writing system. Well, it's not a writing system, it's really just a, a different alphabet. Uh, the Cyrillic alphabet, the basic vocab, um, and a whole bunch of words. So there is a lot that you can do by yourself. Don't be disheartened. There's a language learning way for everybody. That's it for my little vlog. <laughs> Which I, I love calling it that. And um, I wish you guys a lovely day and hopefully see you soon. Bye.